Glory to God. Now, just to deal with something real quickly, um, in John chapter 20, I was just thinking about this. John chapter 20, Mary was outside of the sepulcher weeping. And while she was outside of the sepulcher weeping, it said and she went and stooped down and looked into the sepulcher and see if two angels were with white sitting, the one at the head and the other at the feet, where the body of Jesus had lain. Now, I want you to see this. The Bible said that one angel was at the head and the other angel was at the feet. I feel the wisdom anointing. I feel the wisdom anointing. One angel is at the head and the other angel is at the feet. This shows you that you got an angel assigned to your path. Your decisions, you got an angel assigned to your thought life. Now, I, I could take you various ways, but I'm going to do a seven minute here. Also, the angel at the head shows you that your man of God, your head, the head of your life, the person that God got in charge of you, is releasing angels. Because they have angels at, at, at the position that they're at. So they release angels into your life. That's why you find yourself talking like them, acting like them. You remember the word that they preach. Because the angel is at the head. Now look at this. It says there was an angel at the feet. Which shows you the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. Why could the angel be right there? The angel. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. Now, that's not really my point, but I just caught that while I was reading. And they, they said unto her, woman. They didn't call her Mary. They called her woman. They didn't call her Mary. They called her woman. This is what you won't catch. They didn't call her Mary. They called her woman. Because what was the phrase in Genesis? She was called woman. Then she got the name Adam. But it was woman. So they're calling her by her original state. Now, look at this next part. When she had said that they had taken away Jesus, she turned herself back and saw Jesus standing and knew, did not know that it was Jesus. She turned her back and saw Jesus standing, but the Bible said she did not know it was Jesus. This says, watch this here. Watch this. She turned her back, right? And saw Jesus standing and did not know that it was Jesus. Look at verse 15. Jesus said unto her, Woman, why do you weep? Watch this. Jesus don't call her Mary. He call her woman. Jesus don't call her Mary. He call her woman. Uh oh. So, so, so we see a pattern. We just saw the angels doing the same thing. Jesus don't call her Mary. He call her woman. Whom do you seek?
Watch this. You got to have spiritual goals. Even Jesus is asking her, what are your goals? What are you seeking after? Saints, this, this whole teaching is lit. <laughs> you, you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Look at this. She's supposing him to be a gardener. Uh-oh, uh-oh. So she thinks that he's a gardener because she is in a garden. So she's called a woman and she's in the garden. Let me tell you something. Now this ain't never been preached before. But Mary is correcting what Eve did. And Jesus is playing Adam in this text. She sees Jesus as a gardener, which means a sower. Hey, hey. Hey, she see Jesus in this text as a gardener. So she looking at him as if he's a planter. You know what a gardener mean? It means somebody that plant. It means somebody that sow. She was seeing Jesus as a sower, as a planter. She, watch this. The Bible said she supposing him to be a gardener said unto him, Sir, tell me where you have laid him and I will take him away. She see him as a gardener. A sower. A planter. Say, Father, I received the Jesus realm of sowing and planting. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Father, I received the Jesus realm of sowing and planting. You know, I got on a Dapper Dan shirt, but I don't know Dapper Dan. <laughs> I think Dapper Dan like men or something. Let me, let me just leave that alone. See, I was talking out loud. See, that, 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 that's what happened. See, it's after hours. I wasn't really going to get on here. See what just happened, man? See, never, just, just edit that out. Just edit that out. Just edit. Just edit that out right there. Don't, don't, don't even. When you get to the replay, when you see me about to go into that, just, just speed up. Speed up. Speed it up. Speed it up. Let me, let me show you this. Okay, Jesus said unto her, Mary. She turned herself and said unto him, Rabboni, daddy. No, uh, Rabboni. That's what it said. See, this after hours, see, don't get up off of me. Look, look. <laughs> Jesus said, Jesus, Jesus said, Jesus said, Mary, Daddy, Rabbi Nye. and look what the text said, which is to say, Master.
<laughs> Damn funny. So, look at this here. Wait, look at Gia's next statement. See, this is just funny to me. <laughs> Gia said, touch me not. <laughs> Glory to God. For I am not yet ascended to my father. <laughs> So, 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 praise God. Moving along. Dang, I done, I done preached myself in a hand basket. All right, look at this here. Look at this. Watch this. Let me finish. Let me finish. So, she jumped up, said, Master, Master. Jesus said, don't touch me. I had to get my little joke in with Jesus because Jesus began his jokes in with me. <laughs> Say, you ever, you ever lost your keys and your keys was right in front of you and you was looking all around? Where my keys at? What, what the keys? I can't believe this. And Jesus be up there laughing. <laughs> and your keys right there in your face and you can't see it. Who do that? That be Jesus. Saints, you ever had something that you was looking for right in your face and you didn't see it? Who blinded you? It was Jesus. He was having fun with you. He be laughing at you and then you like, how did I see it? It was right here. He was laughing. So I got my little joke in. See, what Jesus going to do, he going to get his joke in with me. He going to get me back. But I'm going to pray for mercy. And it's going to work out for my good. I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray. See, he's going to get me back. Because see, he's going to get me back. That's how, that, he going to get me back. But see, look at, all right, look at this here. All right. So Jesus said, touch me not. This is what I want you to catch. There are realms where Jesus have not let you touch him yet. And let, let, me, let, let, let me be more clear. There are realms of Jesus that people in our generation are not permitted to touch. But I'm going to tell you something in JHM. You've been permitted to touch Jesus. In, le in, in dimensions, in realms, in levels. That for other people, he's saying, touch me not. For you, he letting you touch. He letting you contact, connect. Collide. As he provide. It's special. It's special. See, Mary could touch all the other realms of Jesus. But in this realm, he's saying, touch me not. It's not time yet for you to connect with this realm that I'm in. See, you got to understand this with the world as well. Sometimes you touch in places that they are not permitted to touch. You're going places with the Holy Spirit that they are not permitted to go. But it's because of what your heart is carrying. The level of purity has decided the level of access that the Father has granted to you. Purity is invisible love. No, no, no. There's a, there's a word that the Lord is giving me right now. I want to leave you with this thought as I go. He just said it to me. Purity is... 
is invisible is invisible love with visible fruit. Purity is invisible love with visible fruit. Why is it invisible love? Because most times people won't know if you're pure. People judge you by the outside. Oh, that's that person not pure. They judge you by the outside. So it's invisible love with visible fruit. 